The following segment is sponsored by Providence Health and Services. This segment of AM Northwest is brought to you by Family Matters. Health and education, safety, and the quality of life. K2 and our partners are proud to bring you Family Matters, offering solutions to the hard questions. Because K2 and Providence Health and Services know that family matters. The demands of the holidays can amplify our stress, and that can take a toll on our mental and emotional health. Here with helpful advice on how to get through it all, we welcome back Executive Director of Providence Behavioral Health in Oregon, Dr. Robin Henderson. Good to see you, Doctor. Good to see you too, Helen. How are you doing this morning? Good. How are the holidays treating you? <laughs> They're good for me right now. So tell me, though, about what do you think causes a lot of the holiday stress? Well, it's not just a Charles Dickens novel. It's great expectations. Yes. We, we have all the expectations we put on ourselves, the expectations we think other people have, and, of course, the expectations other people do have. And the reality is all of that causes a lot of stress if we don't take care of ourselves. Yeah, for sure. And, and we see, you know, you can actually see in even news reports how stress can impact families because we're seeing more violence in families, too, during this time. Oh, absolutely. The holidays are one of the most stressful times of year, and when we start to get all of those things like hungry, angry, lonely, tired, all those different types of things come together, it's a recipe really for all the worst kinds of behaviors to come out. We do see spikes in domestic violence, yeah. we see spikes in abuse calls, and we see spikes in also just that general level of anxiety that I think's probably been exacerbated by all the things we've been through not only this year, but the last couple of years. Oh, for sure. I, I believe it's built up. Are there specific triggers to look for? Yeah, when you notice that, that things are feeling tense, we all feel tension. And when things are feeling really tense, when you notice that, that other people around you may have short tempers, may have short fuses, uh, another really great in indicator is if you yourself or others around you are hungry. It's really hard for us to control our emotions when we're hungry. And the holidays are filled with all kinds of sugar and things we're not used to eating yeah. and we're on schedules we're not used to. And when we get hungry, angry, lonely, and tired, that's a recipe right there. Yeah, I mean, hangry, that expression explains it all. Yep. It, really, it really does. Okay, so how can people pace themselves with all the, all the invitations they have, all the expectations? You know, I was talking with uh, a grandparent just the other day who was saying that their family has small children and they set a schedule, especially with small children. It's really important that you try not to do more than two visits in a day. Give kids time just to be. Right. And that could be a really helpful break. Maybe you do a morning brunch and a, an early evening dinner, but sticking to some type of routine and schedule and making sure everybody's had a chance to eat something well balanced before you walk in the door, especially if you don't know what you're expecting. Yeah, for sure. So do you think that it's helpful for people to, to set boundaries as well? Oh, absolutely. It's always really good to set some boundaries and to make time just for you and your family to do things. We don't have to go do something every night. Right. We don't have to go do something all the time. I mean, in my household, we have family game night a few nights a week during the holidays, so we can just sit around the table and, and play a game together and just be. And how do, how do the holidays impact people who are really already struggling with, with mental health issues? Yeah, the holidays aren't a break from mental health issues. And in fact, all of the, the chaos can, can really exacerbate how people are feeling. If you're already struggling with depression and, and maybe you're not part of other people's plans, it can be very isolating and very lonely, which means having that self-care plan is important. If you don't have a place to be on Christmas Day, there's a lot of places that you can volunteer, that you can go, that you can be part of a community. And that can be one of the most joyous parts of the holidays. But having a self-care plan before you go into the holidays, especially if you're struggling with a mental health issue, is really important. And, and I, would th I would also think if you know someone who is by themselves over their holiday, invite them to your home or to your gathering or go out. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. This is the time of year when we need to reach out to the people that we care about, to the right. people that we know, who may not have a place to go. And maybe we don't know them. 
uh, over the Thanksgiving holidays, we took in a few of, of my kids' college friends who didn't have any place to go. And it makes the holidays a lot more joyous because you've got some new energy. You've got some new people at the table, new things to think about and talk about, and, and just a lot more fun. But this is the time to give. And part of giving is making sure that the people you know in your neighborhood, in your circle, who don't have a place to be, still feel the love. Yeah. Do you think it's okay to say no? Absolutely. I say no on a routine basis. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the healthiest things that you can learn. And when you've had enough, it's okay to back out of something. It's yeah. okay to say, hey, we just don't, you know, we're not feeling it this year. We're, we're everybody's kind of tired. All those types of things are real and valid. But also watch because there's a fine line where maybe you start to isolate a little bit. Yeah. There's a fine line between backing out and pushing yourself to engage. But listen to your gut, listen to the people that you that are close to you, that are around you. And if you need help, talk to somebody. That's always a great way absolutely, to go. Absolutely, absolutely. All excellent tips, doctor. We appreciate it. Dr. Robin Henderson, always good to see you. If you'd like to find good out to more well. about mental wellness support, we've got a number that we will put on our website at ka2u.com. Dr. Robin, thank you so much. Happy holidays. Same to you. And we